I would love to know what this is all about. What's up world, it is John coming to you from the Financial District in New York City. And today's vlog has nothing to do with the stock market or the big bull or the Freedom Tower. No, no, no. Last night I discovered a cool website called Atlas Oscura and it concentrates on the weird and the quirky in many different cities. And there's so many different sites right here in the Financial District. That's what we're gonna be doing today because that other stuff would just bore me. Before we get to our first stop, I want to bring some lunch with me, and one thing I've been neglecting a lot with this channel, street food. That taco truck looks pretty tasty from here. Uh -huh. Una quesadilla? Uh, uh, sin carne. Si. Sí. Tengo que practicar mi español. In lieu of Spanish lessons today, I just chatted with the, uh, the guy at the food truck and uh, I understood everything he said, so I'm improving. All right, let's go to stop number one. So we made it to what's called the Elevated Acre and according to this website, it's just a park in the middle of the financial district that's not super popular, not super well known, but it's just this urban oasis and I better hurry up there before my quesadilla gets cold. Escalator is out of order, what else is new? Wow. There's like nobody here. All right, so there are a few other people here. I, I thought I was special. Ta-da! Now that's what I call lunch with a view. An excellent view of the Brooklyn Bridge from here too, if you remember last uh, week's vlog. Best spot to nap ever. standing in front of 77 Water Street and on the surface it looks like your average office building in the financial district but I assure you it's not. Exhibit A, this old candy store built right in the lobby. Now apparently they don't like you filming here so I am going to go in there and buy something and I'll bring it out and see uh, what we can come up with. I don't really have any items that were that interesting, so I asked the lady, what's the cheapest thing I can buy at a 10 cent candy shop, a 10 cent Tootsie Roll? A very stale Tootsie Roll at that. Recycled aluminum from the building used as artwork. We are walking to Battery Park right now, which is at the bottom of Manhattan. It's pretty tough to vlog and walk in this city. I almost bumped into a few trees, a few people. It's, it's been fun. So most people come to Battery Park either to relax or to take a boat to the Statue of Liberty, but we've got different intentions in mind. I'm standing in front of the sea glass carousel at the bottom of Battery Park City and I've walked by here a million times, never even noticed it. I'll tell you guys what though, if this video gets 1,000, you know what, forget 1,000 likes, I'll go ride this thing for free. You want to change? Thank you. Go straight down, okay? Okay. I'm far too old to be riding this, but for you guys, why not? I do recommend you try that. I don't recommend you film the entire time. I'm feeling a little bit seasick right now from that ride going up and down, but I'll make it. So 
this is the final stop. We are right around the corner from the Vietnam Memorial on South Street, and I found an exposed part of a wall that was recently uncovered after Hurricane Sandy that has people sketching from July 4th, 1976, which was the bicentennial of the United States, a 200 year anniversary. There were celebrations all over the city, way before I was born, and this is like a relic of that day, and we're gonna check it out. See how some of this wall is covered, and right here is where you get the exposure to the 1976 stuff. This wall is pretty addicting. I thought I'd only be here for a minute or two, but I just keep walking back and forth, and I find new stranger messages every time. New York City is a gold mine for quirky and strange things and today I proved that within a five minute radius in the financial district I could find all these random spots to check out and you guys can definitely do the same. Let me know in the comments, do you like this type of video? Do you want me to find more odd and unusual things or do you prefer more mainstream? I know I don't. Uh, definitely be sure to like, share, subscribe to Here Be Bar if you haven't already, and I do have a New York City playlist, so if you're visiting New York, I've got tons and tons of ideas for things to do, and I'm gonna link down below to that as well. Be a part of where you go. Thanks for watching. Hey, this old candy shop built right into the lobby. Oh, and uh, I almost tripped walking. That would've sucked.